I wrote a book about the gay rights movement because I was appalled by the oppression and the discrimination against homosexuals in my America. Mm -hmm. um, and this questioner asks, what do m so many of the churches have against homosexuals? And what about your church's approach to homosexuality? Is it a sin? Are they going to hell? Um, let's talk with my, about my church first, which will be a little easier than, than try to answer for all the other churches of the world. But I'll try. <laughs> I mean, I'm representing all the churches of the world, all right? You know? <laughs> Yeah, but Christianity. I mean, yeah, you, I know. Well, let me let's start you, with mine. You, you you go to the Bible quite often, and there are many Plenty. evangelicals who will yeah. say it is listed as a sin in the Bible, right in the Bible right. and these people are going to hell. Right now, what you first? Uh, let's talk about my church again. <laughs> let's go back here. What we would say is, I think it's unavoidable. I think most Protestant and Catholic and Orthodox Christians over the years have said, you read the Bible, and the Bible has reservations. The Bible says. Homosexuality is not God's original design for, for sexuality. Okay, th there we are. There you have it. The Bible also says love your neighbor. The Bible also, in fact, the Good Samaritan parable, which is how Jesus tells us to love our neighbor, you put a Jew and a Samaritan there. So what Jesus is trying to say is everybody is your neighbor. Gay people are your neighbors. Uh, people who are of other faiths are your neighbors. People of other, other uh, uh, races are your neighbors. And it's the job of a Christian to do what Jesus did on the cross, which was to give himself for people who were opposing him and people who were diff believed, didn't believe in him even. And so a Christian is supposed to say, I serve the needs and interests of all of my neighbors in the city, whether gay or straight, whether they're Hindu or Muslim. I mean, Hindus, for example, don't believe in the Trinity. It's a different view than what the Bible says. Gay people have a different view of sexuality than generally what you see in the New Testament. I'm supposed to love my neighbors. So what I don't see is at this point, I see some churches that are basically ignoring the places in the Bible that talk about homosexuality in order to love their gay neighbor. And I see other Christian churches taking very seriously what the Bible says about homosexuality, but in a very self-righteous way. So they actually do single out gay people. I mean, there are a number of conservative churches that will love their Hindu neighbors and will love their Muslim neighbors and not their gay neighbors. And I really don't think there is any excuse for that. So is, that's, that's it, what's, it, I mean, I, 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 therefore, I have to take some responsibility of being a member of the Christian church for the oppression of homosexuals. Are committing homosexual act, sexual acts a sin against God? Uh, what do you mean by sin? The answer is yes. Yes. Now, the reason, see, here's the problem with that. No, you don't go to hell for being a homosexual. But committing homosexual acts will go to, get you to go to hell? No, wait a minute, wait, wait. wait, wait. Right. No, because you know, well, so, some people will well, say, no, yeah. well, it's not the homosexuality or being gay, it's being doing gay stuff. No, That's the problem. No. No, I, first of all, heterosexuality does not get you to heaven. I happen to know this. <laughs> So how in the world could homosexuality send you to hell? I just, it, it, and actually, uh, the Bible, listen, this is, this is true. Jesus talks about greed 10 times more than he talks about adultery, for example. Now, one of the problems Christians have here is partly, let, let's be nice to Christians. You know when you're committing adultery. I mean, you don't say, oh, you're not my wife. I mean, you know you're committing adultery. <laughs> But, but almost nobody knows when they're greedy. I mean, nobody thinks they're greedy, you know, because everybody is comparing yourself to other people, and so it's a frog in the kettle kind of thing. Uh, however, the fact of the matter is the Bible is much harder on greed materialism, and it's a horrible sin, terrible sin. Well, will greed send you to hell? No. What sends you to hell is self-righteousness, thinking that you can be your own Savior and Lord. What sends you to heaven is getting a connection with Christ because you realize you're a sinner, and you, and, you, and you need intervention from outside. That's why it's, a, it's very misleading, actually, to say, even to say homosexuality is a sin. Because most people, yes, of course homosexuality is a sin, because greed is a sin, because all kinds of things are sins. But what most Christians mean when they say that, and certainly what non-Christians think they hear when they hear that, is if you're gay, you're going to hell for being gay. It's just not true. Absolutely not true. So then what's the, how is homosexuality a sin? I'm not... Well, homos, 
Greed's a sin. In other words, it doesn't help human flourishing. Basically, Christianity has an account of what we think human beings were built to do and what will therefore help human flourishing. So we would say if you spend all your money on yourself, that's bad. Not only for your own soul, but for everybody else's. We would say homosexuality is not the original design for sexuality. Therefore, it's not good for human flourishing. We want people to do things that are good for human flourishing, but that's not what sends you to heaven or hell. Now there, maybe we ought to talk about that. <laughs> uh, what sends you to heaven or hell really has to do with your faith in the gospel, which is that you can't uh, be your own savior through your performance and your good works. Now here, I'm, I'm coming at this at a pro, at like a Protestant now. You know, um, everybody's got to be a particular kind of Christian. And there's difference of opinion within Christianity about this. But uh, no, being gay doesn't send you to hell, and, and, and sin doesn't send you to hell like that. Mm -hmm. uh, the sin underneath the sin is, I am my own Savior and my Lord. And that's the reason why Phariseeism, moralism, Bible-believing people who are proud and think God's going to take them to heaven because they're good, that's sending them to hell. I mean, I know this is a lot to take in at once. It's a lot. I'm, well, yeah, I mean... I want to get back. In, but in, inside our church, right. there's, therefore, there's just not going to be this disdain of homosexuals. It right. just can't be. Not when I'm teaching the gospel like that. For more information about the Veritas Forum, including additional recordings and a calendar of upcoming events, please visit our website at veritas.org.